welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Anna I am a makeup lover from Norway and today I'm wearing my national costume the Bunad and um, it's because of a very special reason first of all I got this one in 2009 which happens to be in the 2000s I said in my intro that the 2000s were the best decade of my life and one of the reasons is this thing right here uh, I have the it's called a uh, Nordtrender Buna if you are familiar with the different types of national costumes in Norway it's from the like, middle part of Norway and I love it I got it because we have a um, big celebration when we turn 15 of well, the year we turn 15 I was 14 for mine uh, and um, it's like confirming the baptism, something like that. But it's not necessarily a Christian thing, but it's a very big celebration. You're kind of celebrating becoming an adult, even though at 15, we're not really. But it used to be uh, a celebration of like growing into adulthood. So I need to show you a little bit more if you're interested at all. So. This is what it looks like, and um, I think it's really pretty. So the reason I'm wearing it today is because we have a, a master's degree celebration, celebrating that we are done, kind of like a send-off thing. I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but we were told to dress up, and um, this is the most dressed up anyone can be in Norway. This is. This is what we wear like when we're really dressing up. So it's basically just 17th of May, which is our Constitution Day. And um, other than that, it's just in my closet. But today, I finally had the chance to wear it, and it fits perfectly with my That's So 2000s update number two, because I got it in 2009 when I was only 14 years old so it's been a while but still fits perfectly so that's, that's nice so uh, I have my I don't actually have my five products in front of me there's been a bit of a mistake when you're seeing this I have moved out of this apartment so if you could see everything that's going on here right now it's chaos so um, I'm going on a two-week trip, I'm not bringing these products and also I left one of them when I was packing. I put some of my makeup at my parents' house because I didn't know where to put it and then I left it there. So that was the Sigma Bubbly eyeshadow stick. So I will be randomizing something else in its place just for fun, just so I can randomize something in. Because, uh, spoiler alert, I have not reached my goal on anything, which is kind of silly because I said in my intro that I wanted to have easy usage goals so that I could roll something out in every update. Wasn't so easy after all. And some of it is because of the whole moving. It's a lot going on right now. So, I'm going to show you the products and tell you how many times I use them. I have my iPad here, and we'll see. Here we are. So, the Sigma stick, eyeshadow stick, I used that one nine times in total. So, I still have six more uses to go because I have a 15 use goal on that one. So, that's those six uses will be easy. I just need to find it again. I know where it is, but like, I need to get it again. And then for the, that was for the prompt. Hmm, Powerpuff Girls, a happy accident or impulse purchase that worked out. And then for the prompt Pillow Pet, which is a versatile product or has multiple uses, I chose my e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter and I thought it would be easy to get 15 uses on this one. Turns out it wasn't, but I'm close. I'm at 12. So this will definitely be... Like, the problem is I'm filming this early. It's June 6th. 
today. So if I were, if I had the opportunity to film this at the actual, like when this is going live, uh, I would be done with this because it's just three more days of using it. But it's gonna be out before my next update for sure. So 12 uses on that one, and then for flip phone, anything in a compact, I chose my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze, and I've used this one a total of 22 times, I think, 22, since I started this project, and I'm, my goal is to finish this, and this is also in my plan to pan for 2024, so it currently looks like this. So hopefully there's a little bit of a difference. I'm not really sure. I think I only used it um, nine times since my last update because I've been using other browsers. Not good, but it's going to be done. But I don't know how long it will take. And also because I'm getting more of a tan, I'm going on vacation where I'm bringing a different browser. When I come back, I have a feeling I won't be using this one that much because this is quite a bit lighter than a few of my other ones and I want to be using my darker bronzers in the summer and then go back to this one again. So we'll see about this one but I'm using it, that's for sure. And then for low rise pants, your least flattering product, I chose a red lipstick from Dior in the shade Dior 8, I think that's the shade name. And it's just not, it's just not a color of red that I like that much, but I'm determined to get to my five use goal. So I've used it three times, just once, that was on Friday, I think, yeah, Friday. And then two times before that, once as just like a little bit of a blotting thing, and then twice as a red lipstick. I wore it in one of my videos, and mm, I don't love it, but two more uses. I will be able to do that, and maybe I will like it more if I get a little bit of a tan, and I can use it with a slightly more orangey lip liner, maybe, and then just put that one on top. I think that could look quite nice, so we'll see. Maybe I should bring it with me on my trip and get my two uses while I'm in Italy. We'll have to think about that. And then last update, I uh, randomized a um, eyeshadow palette, an eyeshadow, and this was for the prompt Harry Potter Magic or some or Magical, and I chose the shade that's called Magical, and I've used it three times. I wore it in my uh, let's see this one. I wore it in my last video, my panels eyeshadows, and I love that look. So, yeah. So only three times, but you can definitely see some disturbance, which is exciting. So maybe I could actually hit pan in this one this year if I continue because I really like it. And in that last video, I wore it with a little bit of a light green inner corner, and then the day before, I wore it with like a light gold in my inner, in the inner part of my lid and that also looked really nice. I just forgot to take a picture. So I will still have two more uses on that one as well. Um, won't be a problem, but I wish I had something rolling out. But we will be rolling something else in because I cannot work on the item that I don't have. So I will need something else. So let's get my tiny decisions app. Let's screen record and then have the screen recording right here and we get Uggs. Something you wish was waterproof. That one will be fairly easy because I wish everything was waterproof I think. That would just that would be nice if everything was waterproof. Something you should waterproof. Hmm, let me have a quick look. That was actually a lot harder than I thought. So um, I ended up choosing a lip liner. 
and I chose my NYX professional lip liner in nude pink which is my favorite lip liner and I wish it had better longevity so that because I use this once and then it disappears I don't know how long it takes but it disappears so I don't bring this with me I just use it in the morning and I wish my lips looked the same a few hours later yeah you know what I mean so uh, hopefully I'll be able to make some decent progress on this one I'm going to make a goal of uh, I'm at the point where it says NYX professional make uh, and then the P is gone I don't think you'll be able to see this okay if I do it like this can you see that so I'm my goal is to finish up at so much that it doesn't say makeup at all so that it just says NYX professional and then I can finish the M and the A and the K and the E and the U. I feel like that's a goal that I can manage to do. I don't know how long it will take. I will need to sharpen it and I will need to sharpen it right now so that I can bring it on my vacation. And I don't think I'm bringing a sharpener. I will have to find out how to do that in some way. So that is my new product. I wish this was waterproof and um, I never had Unst though in my in the 2000s. Not after that either. But um, maybe if they were waterproof. And that's everything for today. And um, I'm sorry this is pre-recorded and I don't have anything fun to show you progress wise and no, no, no goals met. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and I hope that you are you also have something to celebrate. And um, my next video will be expand those pants intro, which will be very exciting. And that is all from me today. So I'm going to go to my graduation ceremony. That was what I was trying to say previously. It's like an actual graduation ceremony but not in the cool way that we had in the US where there were hats and big, big stuff. This is more of a small gathering, but still, I'm still graduating and that is exciting. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you later on my channel in my next video. And that's everything. Bye.